Slave Dynasty The Slave Dynasty, also known as the Mamluk Dynasty, refers to the ruling dynasty that held power in the Delhi Sultanate of Northern India from 1206 to 1290. The term slave in this context refers to the origins of the rulers as slaves or individuals of nonable birth who ascended to the position of sultans. The founder of the slave dynasty was Kutaburdin Abak, who was a Turkic slave and military general under the Ghurid Empire in present-day Afghanistan and Pakistan. After the death of his master, he established his authority in Delhi and became the first Sultan of Delhi in 1206. Kutaburdin Abak was succeeded by several other rulers from the same dynasty, including Iltatmish, Ruknuddin Firuj, and Balban. They consolidated and expanded the Delhi and its control over various parts of northern India, including present-day Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, and parts of Rajasthan. During the slave dynasty's rule, the sultans faced numerous challenges, such as Mongol invasions, internal conflicts, and regional uprisings. Despite these challenges, they were able to establish a centralized administration, introduce administrative reforms, and strengthen their military forces. The slave sultans made significant contributions to the architecture and cultural development of the region. They built notable structures such as the Qutub Minar and the Kuwatul Islam Mosque in Delhi, which stand as architectural marvels to this day. The dynasty came to an end in 1290 when Alaluddin Firuj Khalji, a commander under the slave dynasty, overthrew the last sultan, Muizuddin Kakabad. This marked the beginning of the Khalji dynasty's rule in the Delhi Sultanate. The slave dynasty played a crucial role in shaping the political and cultural landscape of medieval India. Their rule marked the beginning of Muslim dominance in the region and set the stage for subsequent dynasties that ruled over the Delhi Sultanate.